And we are set to go. We're underway with Armac football. It's a short kick. This is a chance to return it. Picked up by McDonald to 15, 20, 25, right up the middle. Tries to bounce it outside. Breaks one tackle. Still on his feet and is hauled down at the 30-yard line. So good field position for the Thunderbolts to start off the game. Unusually short kick for college football that we've seen anymore, Joe. What happened there? I don't know if he hit a little fat or what. Well, it was so short that... Uh the Gunners were almost on top of the receivers. It's like, hey, wait a minute here. So Thunderbolts will go trot right out to the line of scrimmage. Ball lined up on the right hash mark. Tight formation here for the Thunderbolts to start off the game. Cooper going to get the start at the right slot. Duncan comes in motion to the right side of the formation. And they play action. They look down the sideline. A.J. Tate's going for it all. He's got Duncan in the clear. He's got it. 35-30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Start a ball game right there. 70 yards. Thompson to Duncan. Well, Karen Duncan came in motion across the formation. When he turned up the field, he just started a foot race. They ran play action, and Thompson right on the money. Let's give a shout out to Jeff Heklinski, the offensive coordinator, passing game coordinator, Gordy, the run game coordinator. How about that, Jim? Well, if you're late to get here from the tailgate, you're too late to see the first score. I'm sure people are walking in, what happened? Ball down, kick is up, and it is good. 14.41 to go here in the first quarter. Thunderbolts lead at 7-0 on Fox Sports Pueblo. You for- in the yard from the 39-yard line. 7-0, Thunderbolts on top, 11 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Thunderbolts scored on the first play from scrimmage. On a 70-yard bomb to Kieran Duncan. Doyle changing the play. Now he's back in the pistol. Takes the snap. He's going to give it up the middle, and they've stuffed it. Second effort, but still a yard short of the first down. P.J. Hall was hit about three yards in the backfield. He bounced off that tackle attempt, got it back to the line of scrimmage, and is stuffed there, and it'll be fourth down in the yard. Fort Lewis out to punt the football away. Well, Jordan Doyle ran off, and then they looked like they sending him back on, but it was just he dropped his mouthpiece. This is where you got to hold your water now if you're CSU Pueblo. Yeah, yeah, the best play so far of the game has been a, for Fort Lewis, been a five-yard penalty. Back to accept the appearance, but number one, Kieran Duncan. Duncan stands back at his own 24-yard line. And again, the Thunderwolves are offside. Rugby-style kick on the way. It'll be taken by Duncan, but this is not going to matter. He takes it at the 24, tries to get around the edge. He's across the 35-40, up the sideline, big block down the sideline, hauled out of bounds at the 45-yard line, but the Thunderwolves were offside again. we got more flags on the field here for illegal blocks and maybe a late hit, all kinds of things going on, but it's all going to be trumped by the Thunderwolves being offside. In from the pistol, Doyle. Takes the snap, it's a low, and he handles it, looks right, fires right, ball caught, first down, up the sideline, inside the 25, down to the 20-yard line. Jaquel Thompson on the grab and turned it up the field, and he's down to the 20-yard line. It's first and 10 for the Skyhawks. 18 yards on the play. First and 10 for the Skyhawks from the Thunderwolves' 20-yard line. 7 to nothing. back on top, 8.52 to go here in the first half. Ball in the right hash mark. Trips to the left. Single wide out right. And Doyle from the pistol. Makes the snap. Looks right. Covered up. Now he's going to roll the pocket left. Looks down the sideline. Fires it over the middle. Caught first down inside the 10-yard line. Now they push him back upfield outside the 15-yard line. But forward progress will have the first down. Another grab for Thompson. All the way down to the 8-yard line. First and goal for the Skyhawks. Stay with the extra tight end. He lines up on the right side here. Ball's on the left hash mark. A wide out to each side. Ball stays in the game. Now Doyle comes up under center just to bark out a line assignment. Now goes back to the pistol. Takes the snap. They're going to hand it off the middle. And a good hit. They stop him about after a gain of a yard. If that, P.J. Hall knocked down right in the middle of the stack. They tried a little trap play inside. It didn't work. Well, Thunderwolves defense, they come up big. They, they've done everything on this drive except keep them out of the, what, maybe prevent points, Jim. They're just, uh, well, it, it, Fort Lewis, they <laughs> ran a little trickeration last year out of kick formation, if you remember. The field goal, number 96, kick to 
Chip Castana, he, he is from Rye, Colorado. It'll be a 21-yard attempt, ball right in the middle of the field. Good snap, ball's down. Kick is up, and it is good. So Fort Lewis takes advantage of the two penalties and drive down the field to get a field goal on the board. 6.13 to go here in the first quarter. Thunderwolves lead at 7-3. Thunderwolves football on Fox Sports Pueblo. This weekend... They bring Duncan in motion to the right side of the formation. Thompson going to hand the ball off to McDonald. Nice cut in the middle across the 30, 35, 40. Off to the races, breaks a tackle. Midfield has a block. 40, 35, 30. Chased down from behind and taken down at the 18-yard line. Big time run by Cameron McDonald. Boy, he broke through that line of scrimmage, the initial hit, Joe, and then when he gets into the secondary, it's a thing of beauty. Well, and he, if he didn't have to change directions, he'd have scored. 58 yards on the play for Cameron McDonald all the way down to the 17-yard line of the Skyhawks. You know, we had been almost almost through the first quarter, and we hadn't mentioned his name yet. That was Brother Bernard in the game now. He lines up. He's the lone back. Thompson's up under center here, and they try to draw him offside. They get back onside, hand it off to Bernard right side. Nice hole, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Thunderwolves! through butter I guess Joe I'm not even butter there that's just a knife going through air no defense whatsoever by Fort Lewis no contact that's a that's your veteran offensive line just knocking guys down so it'll be the kicker coming in Greg O'Donnell perfect on the year on extra points Radabaugh is the holder good snap balls down kick is up and it is good 5.33 to go here in the first quarter. Thunderwolves have ran two plays. They scored, or three plays, scored two touchdowns. How do you like that? 14-3, to three, pack on top on Fox Sports Pueblo. My name is... And they're going to run it up the middle. Decent hole. Breaking one tackle, galloping out across the 20, 24, 25-yard line. Good run that time by P.J. Hall. That's just poor tackling. Somebody came out of their shoe there. I think it's Hall. That's why they end up going for the tackle and whiffed and got a shoe. But Hall able to get forward for 11 yards. It's first and 10 Skyhawks. Well, once they got those couple of gifts with the uh, special teams meltdowns for the Thunderwolves on the penalties, their offense moving the ball a little bit here. Got a field goal on the last possession. Double wide out left, single wide out right. Here comes pressure out the edge. They blow it up, but somehow pulling the ball out as Dolly gets forward for a couple yards. That's the beauty of the read option because he pulled that ball out just in time as P.J. Hall got lit up on the play. And Doyle somehow able to get forward for a yard. They're lucky they didn't fumble the football there. They got three tight ends in, Jim. Though They've yeah. been waiting to go to this personnel all season because Trayvon Letlow's healthy now. And they're going to draw a play. Right side, Cam cuts it across the 40, 45, breaks a tackle out to the 47-yard line. Did you hear the crowd? They were he ready. One they... step away from gone. Exactly. It looked like it was going to be no gain on the play, but you just have to remember it's Cameron McDonald, the ball carrier, and it, a touchdown waiting to happen or a big gain waiting to happen. That could be the title of his memoir, One Step Away from Gone. So third and four here for the Thunderwolves. Forsgren into the ball game. He's going to split wide to the left. Deshaun Williams in the game. He splits wide to the right. Two backs in the backfield this time. Both almost, McDonald's in there. Almost like a wildcat formation. In the shotgun. And they fake it. Here's the option pitch right side. Nice going. 45-40. 35. Tall down at the 28-yard line. Bernard McDonald. Little option play that time by the Thunderwolves. Great for me. That's a new look for CSU Pueblo. We haven't seen that play all year. Bam. 24 yards on the play, had one man to beat. Safety came over and got a almost a steer wrestling type move there on Bernard McDonald to haul him down at the 29-yard line. First and ten, Thunderwolves. You know when your your big brother's the nation's leading rusher, he gets a lot of attention. So much so that the whole offense defensive front went with Cameron McDonald. The gun again, Thompson. Get the ball off. Here's the uh, run around the right side. Pressure coming, and they got him. Kevin Duff. Duff back inside the 10-yard line. Hauls Jordan Doyle down. Big loss on the play. Number 41. They're going 
going to be generous and give him forward progress out to the 10-yard line. I think that's very generous. He was hit at about the 8. Ended up going down at the 6. Second down and 20 from the 10-yard line. Kevin Cuff quietly having a good year, his senior year. People don't realize you go all the way back to his freshman year. He was the RMAC Defensive Rookie of the Year. Of course, battled the uh, injuries. Duncan in the slot to the left. Bring Boyd in motion. Going to run the draw again to Cam up the middle. Big opening. Across the 40. Fights through one tackle and hauled down from the behind at the 35-yard line. Daniel Walker. Again, Joe, I'm with you. The fans, every time he gets the ball, they're just waiting. They know what could happen. Well, they see the scrum, and then they see him pop through. So you're going, okay. And then they had him by the shoot, the shoot laces on that one. So it's first and ten, Thunderwolves at the 35-yard line. Thunderwolves lead it 14-3, to 12.05 to go here in the first half. You know, they, Cam has these big runs, and then he comes out and catches his breath. And Bernard's in there to just a mop up. Double wide out left this time. Double tight end set. They give it to Bernard up the middle. Breaks a tackle, 30, 25, 20. It's wide open, 10, 5, touchdown. Bernard McDonald on the touchdown. Kind of ran into a little wall at the start there, but it was his own line that bounced off him, and it was easy money. You talk about wide open down the side. Bernard McDonald had 41 yards in the first quarter. Give him another 35 on that one and his second touchdown of the game. Now it's Greg O'Donnell in to try the extra point. Good snap. Ball down. Kick is up. And it is good. 11.44 to play here in the first half. Thunderwolves lead it 21-3 on Fox Sports Pueblo. 21 to 3, Thunderwolves on top, 11-10 to go here in the first half. Doyle from the pistol, he's operated there all day. Double wide out right, single wide out left. And they're going to give it again up the middle, and again, it goes nowhere. And again, it's Campton and company. Joe Rosenbrock also in there on the stop. Hey, Cam- I love the way Campton gets up every time. and he's Like a big old bear, isn't he? He is, he's just big. <laughs> Comes out on third and longs, most always. Body language not so good right now at Fort Lewis on offense. They're just a little bit in disarray, trying to get lined up in the right position. Dominic Barnett now lines up in the left slot. Got an extra protector in the backfield here on third and 12. Fake the draw. Here comes pressure off the edge. Steps up and sacked back at the 18-yard line. Is that Brock Davies? Brock Davies, the backup nose tackle. He is all over the place. He's at, before the game, Joe and I are wondering, what the heck's he out? He's out there receiving punts. Just trying to help the punter out. He's a punt retriever. He wasn't really a returner, but a retriever. Well, pressure initially came off the edge that time from Josh Croy. He forced Doyle to step up into the pocket, but that's where everybody else was waiting. You know, he's, he's from Australia. Bristing going to go way wide to the right this time. The Twins, Radabaugh and Duncan in the slot to the right. Play action. Thompson steps up at the pocket. Pump fake, and he goes down. Did he lose the ball? I don't know if the ball slipped out of his hand or not. Kind of funny there when he's in the pocket. I think he had to drop and fall on the football there. It's going to be a sack on the play, and the Thunderbolts will have to punt the football away. Not the best. Fort Lewis takes over at their own 10-yard line. They're going to run the option to the right side. Fake the late pitch. Uh-oh, look out. Up the sideline. Doyle across the 25 to the 27-yard line. He broke a tackle there to the short side of the field and gets up field for a nice gain. That's what he can do. He's very powerful. For well, you just, he, you got to hit him. He, he faked the pitch and you, you gave up the tackle. That arm tackle is not going to get him. you got to really wrap up and then have some help. Comes up under center for the moment to give a little blocking instruction. Trips to the right here. Single wide out left. Hauled the lone back from the pistol is Doyle. Straight drop back. Looks down the middle. Here comes pressure. They got him in. They sandwich him. He was trying to get it down the middle to Lydell Williams, but he was covered up, and then Doyle had to eat it. Ian Kelly. 
Lyman, number 46. Sacked back at the 30-yard line, a loss of two. Jim, they are abusing the front of Fort Lewis. And Morgan Fox isn't even in uniform today. He's in street clothes. Yeah, he's a cheerleader. You know, I am watching Morgan Fox hand out water. <laughs> he's the biggest water boy in college football. That is a team player right there. Punt formation. Boyle comes up under center for the moment to give it a little blocking instruction. Trips to the right here, single wide out left. Hauled the lone back from the pistol is Doyle. Straight drop back. Looks down the middle. Here comes pressure. Oh, they got it in. They sandwich him. That's a pack sack. He was trying to get it down the middle to Lydell Williams, but he was covered up, and then Doyle had to eat it. Ian Kelly, at number 46. Sacked back at the 30-yard line, a loss of two. Jim, they are abusing the front of Fort Lewis. And Morgan Fox isn't even in uniform today. He's in street clothes. Yeah, he's a cheerleader. You know, I am watching Morgan Fox hand out water. <laughs> he's the biggest water boy in college football. That is a team player right there. Punt formation. I need to see more production from the offensive line for Cam McDonald right now, Jim. It's obvious that Fort Lewis is keying on number 30, and if I was a defensive corner, that's exactly who I'd key on. But uh, it seems like every time Cam touches the ball, there's a little bit of extra push from Fort Lewis. Well, this big guy on the right defensive end, he's a load, number 99 for Fort Lewis, Juan Hall out of DeSoto, Texas. Thompson up under center again. He gives it to Cam off the right side. Tries to cut it inside, and there's Hall <laughs> there's in to Juan get it. Hall. Yeah. Juan Hall of the wall. McDonald, the ball carrier. No gain on the play. It'll be third down and six. Well, when they're selling out like this to stop the run, that's when you got to take advantage and hit them down the middle. So the linebackers pushing up on the line of scrimmage to stop that run. That's where you're going to have some openings. Cooper wide to the left. They got a triplet formation to the right this time. Kind of a stack formation. Play action. Thompson looks right now. Comes over the middle ball. Caught. Duncan has the first down out across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Tell you what, Thompson, he's a better game player than he is a practice player, Joe. We saw him in practice this summer, and, I, you know, at times I wasn't that impressed with his throwing ability, but in the game, something clicks for this guy. That was zipped in there. What, what I like, what, that play, there was not a read. That was one person in the pattern. It was to get the first down. It was just a sit route, 13 yards in the middle of the field. So he was throwing to a spot. Double wide out. 21 to 3, pack on top. Thompson up under center. Has Cam lined up right behind him. Again, a very tight formation. Only one wide out to the left. They run the draw play. Here is Cam off the left side. Stiff arm across the 45, across the 50. Powers his way into Skyhawk territory. And a first down. That's the line play Joe's talking about what he wants to see. That was a nice opening off that left side. A 12 yard run. Breaks through the line, stiff arm on the helmet of a Fort Lewis defender. And then he comes out of the game, which means Bernard will probably score here. Bernard stays in the game to play tailback. Thompson up under center. Fake it left, now roll right. Thompson looks up the side. Here comes late pressure, gets the pass away to Boyd. Nice cut, breaks the tackle. Up the sideline, he's got the first down. Nice little adjustment there, like the patience by A.J. Thompson waiting to the last minute, flipped it to Boyd, and Boyd doing a great job breaking the tackle. Had a nice conversation with Zach Boyd this week, did a story on him. That was right, it was a good one. You know, he's from Fort Lupton, he played quarterback. He was like, when you're his kind of athlete, you're Mr. Everything at a school that size. And uh, he was just a yester, no sir, he wears his cowboy boots and cowboy hat and the pack walk, and... First and 10 at the 36-yard line of the Skyhawks. Thunderbolt's on the move here. They run the draw play. Bernard McDonald off the right side. Which is his way. Oh, they move the stack. Here's the Bush push. Inside the third. They're still shoving him, and he's got the first down. Fans love that. I guess there's no rule against that anymore. There used to be. You just get up there and get right on his backside and keep him upright. Cam McDonald back in the ball game here on third and a long eight. Ball just inside the 22-yard line. Thompson up under center. And they're going to run the ball to Cam McDonald this time. And he spins out of one tackle. There he goes. Clear. 10-5. Touchdown. It was almost like
like they were conceding the possession to kick the field goal, but Cameron McDonald thought nothing of that. He says every play is a chance for a touchdown. One step from gone, Jim. So it'll be O'Donnell in to try the extra point. Perfect on the year. Low snap. It's handled. Kick is up. And he gets it in there. Almost gave him the jinx. 56 seconds to go in the first half. Thunderwolves lead it 28 to 3 on Fox Sports Pueblo. I'm Best to get back in the game here. Thunderwolves moving a lot of people in and out, as you might expect on a hot day here at the Thunderbolt. 40 seconds to go now in the half. Ball at the 39 yard line. Going to run it this time to Hall off the right side. Puts his head down, lumbers into the secondary. He's got another first down. Big hit. Coming in, Joe Jones, the safety. Lord, the boom on P.J. Hall, but not before he gets a first down out to midfield. It'll be first and ten Skyhawks here as they try to get something together here. Late in the half. Clock rolls. We're down to 32 seconds to go. Doyle takes the snap. Here comes pressure up the middle. They flush him. He runs out to the left side, looks down the sideline. He's going for it all. He's got a man in the clear, and it is caught. Touchdown! Just like that, the Skyhawks strike late in the first half. Jordan Gillen got behind everybody, and it's a touchdown for Fort Lewis. 50 yards on the play. That kind of quiets the crowd. Trying to see who the culprit is. It. That's Laron Tarkington, the veteran of the safeties back there got caught napping well as soon as Doyle flushed from the pocket everybody kind of came up on the line of scrimmage got to stay deep got to keep everything in front of you Castana now in to try the extra point the Rye High School product good snap ball's down low kick wow and he missed it. He hooked it wide left. No good. Well, the extra point, no good. Skyhawks get a touchdown, though. They make it 28 to 9. 20 seconds to go here in the first half on Fox Sports. Stana to kick it off here. 20 seconds to go. Thunderwolves, the number one return team in the nation. Should get a chance here as he's kicking into a slight breeze. Kicks it straight up. Going to be a chance here for Bernard McDonald. Takes it at the 11-yard line across the 15, 20, 25 up the middle, 30. Tries to spin outside. Ball comes out. Fumbled. And they have it at the 30-yard line. Skyhawks now just ripped that ball away from McDonald. Ooh, and stealing McDonald. it away that time was Theo Chambers. And now Fort Lewis with 12 seconds to go. They can take a shot at the end zone here. What a turn of events here. Look like they're going to rush three. Eska might come late from the left edge. We'll see here. He does come off the edge. Here comes pressure up the middle. They flush him, gets the pass away, throws it to the goal line, and it is knocked down. And that will end the first half. Nice, play by, nice play by Brian Jones just to bat it down. Thunderwolves survive a late scare. We go to the locker room. Thunderwolves lead it 28-9 to nine on Fox half. Sports Pueblo. Farmers. Duncan stands at his own 45-yard line, not respecting the leg here of Thigpen. But Thigpen, remember, he boomed that one earlier in the first half. Here's the kick. They tried to get to it. High kick. Good kick. Duncan going to take it at the 46. Avoids two men across the 40. Up the field. 35. Trying to get to the sideline. 30. 25. 20. 15. 10. Tiptoes out of bounds at about the 9-yard line. No flags. Gorgeous return there by Kieran Duncan. Made those first two guys miss, Joe. Just a little, kind of like a little jab jump step. Two guys avoided him, and then he took it up the sideline. And the DJ's playing moves like Jagger. you got to be alert down there with the sound crew, and they are. That's knowing your audience and knowing the situation. That's knowing music and football. So first... Boy, tell you what, uh, Zach Martinez... Wanted no part of being chewed out there. John Rison tried to get up in him, and Zach Martinez yelled right back at his coach, saying that wasn't a hold. He's irate down here as he sits down on the bench. Here's the ball down. Kick is on the way. Got plenty of leg, and it is good. Nice kick there by Greg O'Donnell. 12.55 to go in the third quarter. Thunderwolves make it 31-9. They're on top here on Fox Sports Pueblo. 
In motion thick pen now. They're going to throw the screen out in the flat to him. He's got it, but it's all fouled up. Here comes the pursuit and running sideways, and he gets shellacked. He ran right back into Tony Captain. Joe, that was almost comical. He was trying to get away from all those little guys, ran it back in the middle of the field, and there was the refrigerator. You never want to run back into Tony Campton. Oh my goodness. A gain of maybe a yard on to play out to the 26 yard line. It'll be third and nine now for the Skyhawks. Oh, that was good, Alan Thigpen. Running around for your life and then you had your life handed to you. Campton stays in the game on a rare third and long. See if he can get a sack here. Here's Doyle. Straight drop back. Good push up the middle. They had him for a moment. Chasing him down. Josh, Josh Croy flag down. We're going to get a holding penalty on Fort Lewis. And they'll decline that and be fourth and a bunch. That is the great play there by Croy. Showed some good speed there. Thunderwolves, they don't do 40s, Joe. They do no. that time. They run 10-yard dash. They want to see how explosive you are. And all these linemen are pretty good in that little 10-yard dash. Even Campton. It's quick it's, off the ball. It's football speed. Yeah, when are you gonna... Duncan only standing at his 40-yard line. That is only 30 yards deep for this punt. They have no respect whatsoever for the punting ability here. Here's the snap. Kick is away. It's a low end over end job. Angle to the left. Takes a high hop. Duncan has a chance. He fields it. Uh-oh. 35. Cuts back inside. 40. 45. Up the middle of the field. Cuts back to midfield. Good return there by Duncan. Good decision. He saw that ball take the nice big Sunday hop. He got under it. Made that first man miss as he does almost every time. It looked like he was coming to the near sideline, and there was nothing but green out there. Play action. Thompson sets in the pocket. Looks left. Here comes pressure. Gets away. Now he's flush. He's across the 45. Nice move across the 40. He's got the first down. Down to the 37-yard line. That's what A.J. Thompson can do for you. A.J. might be hurt here, though. We haven't seen a quarterback run like that. And A.J. Thompson's down on the turf. He is injured. He's holding his right leg here. I don't know if it's his hamstring or his knee. They've got him up on the field. Might be a cramp. I'm guessing. Yeah, now he's trying to walk it off. That's so a he's cramp. got a right cramp. Right leg cramp in the calf. So that'll bring uh, Dustin Walton into the ball game. You know, he had a series last week at Adams State. He had a series the week before that. I'm watching AJ. He's always got a smile on his face. He's a happy guy. End of the game as a quarterback. Does that give me a drink? I'll be all right. He says, it's okay. Let's go. He's got a big grin on his face. First and ten, Thunderwolves. Hand it off, Cam McDonald. Up the middle, across the 35, across the 30. Got the first down, down to the 26-yard line. You know, it's not bad duty as a backup quarterback when you can just go back there and hand it off to number 30. Wide out left. Duncan in the slot left. Cooper's wide to the left. Lone back is Cam. Walton up under center. Gives it to Cameron McDonald. He's bouncing the back. Ooh, breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Touchdown! Again, Joe, it looks like it's going to be no gain. Breaks two tackles and gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. He is something special. Pretty amazing run. He runs to the right side of the line, bounces backward, then he tries the center of the line. Pattern's full, so he kicks it out to the left side of the line and then scores, diving across the goal line. And he did that from all in a little 10 yards span there. O'Donnell in to try the extra point. High snap. They get it down, though. Kick is up. And did he squeeze it through? Yes. Keeps that perfect streak alive there. Great job by Radabaugh to get that ball down somehow. 7.36 to go. Third quarter. Thunderwolves lead at 38-9. This is Thunderwolves football on Fox Sports Pueblo. Here's a handoff up the middle and they read option. Number 22. And he didn't have much to read there as he gives it off to Hall, but he goes nowhere. And again, Josh Croy. That's a tough decision for Jordan Doyle. Do I hand it off or do I run it and get hit by Josh Croy or do I hand it off and let the back get hit by Josh Croy? I guess it's a pretty easy decision. You let the other guy get hit. Josh Croy, he is just monster. 
Thunderbolts were showing a corner blitz for the moment. Now they back into coverage. Here comes pressure up the middle. They flush Doyle. And they get him from behind. Right. Well, it's going to be a sack. From Josh Croy. Right on cue. Number 10, Jordan Doyle, the ball carrier. Stop by number 96, Josh Croy. I guess the thing, you know, the, the thing the Thunderwolves coaching staff and the brass love about their defensive line this year, they don't freelance so much. They kind of, they stay in their lanes. They do what the coaches want them to do. You know, <laughs> that makes sense? You're, you're doing your job the way they want you to do your job. Thompson from the gun this time. Has Cam with him. Off his left hip, straight drop back. Here comes pressure up the middle as they blitz. Pass left side, caught. That is Boyd up the uh, sideline. He's got the first down. He's a gamer. That's Michael, Michael Riston. Michael Riston on the grab. Beg your pardon. You make a catch like that, it keeps you from going to left tackle. <laughs> exactly. It's almost like he's saying, hey, you want to be a tight end? I'll make you prove it today. Catch the ball. He dropped one earlier. Dropped the pass last week at Adams, but here he comes through. And again, Thompson right on the money. Beautiful pass. Double tight end set with an extra tight end off the left side here. Tight formation for the Thunderwolves. They're going to give it to Cam up the middle. Bust it outside. Oh, lowers the boom on the man coming up to tackle him. Ends up being about a nine-yard gain. But Benavides came up to challenge Cam. And Cam just... Exploded into him, knocked him on his butt, gets forward for about nine and a half. Cam has to come out of the game. He might have uh, messed up his chin strap there. Is that power formation? It's total unbalanced. You got a tight end, and then the other two tight ends lined up right next to him on this left side, and that's the short side of the field. And they play, fake the draw play. Oh, wide open is Boyd. Pass under throw, but Boyd gets it anyway. Into the end zone, touchdown. Of Zach Boyd, he had to wait on that one, Joe, and he just kind of reached out with those big mitts, caught it down about knee level, and just backed his way on into the end zone. He's already had more yards, touchdowns, and almost receptions than he did all of last year, and this is week six. A.J. Thompson, nice fake. Carried it out beautifully. Pass maybe a little underthrown, but you don't want to overthrow it. If you underthrow it, you get a chance for it anyway. He was that wide open. O'Donnell, extra point kick is up, and it is good. 2.12 to go here in the third quarter. Thunderwolves extended out to a 45-9 lead. It is Thunderwolves football on Fox Sports Pueblo. John Riston, in fact, told us to have our radar up ready for that one. After the John Riston show. Here's a little, that's like a little uh, knockdown wedge shot there. Back up across 30, 35, look out, here we go, we got something working here, 45, 50, 45, 40, he's got a blocker out in front, tries to get to the sideline, 20, 15, 10, cuts back, and he's down at the four-yard line. There's a flag over here, too, on CSU Pueblo's sideline, I'm guessing that's a sideline warning, unless the field judge got caught up in the wash. First down. Thunderwolves. Now big time return there for the Thunderwolves by Kalen Anderson. Here's the oh, submarine job. The handoff up the middle and flying through there for the Thunderwolves. That's Brock Davies. Yeah, Brock Davies looking like a linebacker. He was that quick as he shot in there. People, I don't know how to explain Brock Davies other than to say that he's about... 5'11", they may list him at 6 foot, I don't know. Uh, he probably weighs 240 and is 100% muscle. Yeah, they listed him at 6'1", but I think that's generous. And he's one. He's just, he's thick, like strong thick. And he talks with the Australian accent. Yep, from Brisbane. And in the ball now, uh, <laughs> kind of funny, he has exchanged some uh, private messages with this guy. They call him Rome because his name's so hard, but Ikachuku Ihanaju into the ball game. I was calling him Ihanahu, that was my guess last week, but Ihanaju for the Thunderwolves. He comes in and he immediately makes his presence felt, he got a piece of the tackle there. Big kid, 240-pound senior out of Los Angeles. Third down. 
I formation this time on second and four. And they're going to give it up the middle to Dort again, and he's got the first down. Out across the 35 to the 37-yard line. Good hard running on the interior there by Fredlett Dort. The junior out of Lake Worth, Florida. We've documented his story. So walk on the last couple years, but uh, played so well and contributed so well on special teams. And the role he's played. John Riston rewarded him with a little scholarship money this year. Part of that Florida connection for the Thunderwolves. That will do it. Checking into the ball game, Kevin Meadows plays wide receiver for the Thunderwolves. He's a redshirt freshman out of Ralston Valley High School in Westminster. He's going to split wide to the left here. I formation here on third down and three. They give it to Fredley, tries to bounce it outside. He powers forward. He's got the first down out to midfield. That'll stop the clock temporarily to move the chains. Thunderwolves do not have to run another play as we are under 30 seconds to go. Looks like the teams are starting to make their way out onto the field. And that will do it. Thunderwolves going to win it. They're going to run their RMAC record to 4-0. and There'll be 5-1 and overall as we reach the, uh, in theory, halfway point of the season. Trying to win their fifth straight RMAC championship. Big stepping stone on the way to that here today with this victory over Fort Lewis. Final score, Thunderwolves win it 45-9. Back with our post-game show on Fox Sports Pueblo.